Hello everybody, Comte here with another video. How to create an old film effect in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.7. Inside your edit window, hold Ctrl and press I to insert a video file that you wish to use in this project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside your Media Pool Master Bin, locate the thumbnail of your inserted media. Click and drag this to the start of your edits timeline. With your red playhead hovering over your video clip on the timeline, go to click on the Color tab underneath. Underneath Color Wheels, go to change Saturation from 50 to 0. To add a grayscale effect to your video, return to the Edit window, go to Effects Library, select Open Effects, and using the search box above, Go to Find Film Damage. Click to drag and drop one of these effects onto your video clip. Select the video clip on your timeline. Go to Inspector. Go to Open Effects to find Film Damage. If you can't see any variables here, try double clicking on the Film Damage label at the top of the screen. Increase the film blur to 0.25. Go down to the Add Vignetting section. Increasing the focal factor will increase the darkness around the edges of your video clip. In this example here, I will increase focal factor from 0.1 to 0.17. Increasing the geometry factor will increase the strength of these dark curved sections. In this example, I will increase geometry factor to 0.5. Scroll down your inspector properties for open effects. To add dirt, keep the color as black. Ensure that changing dirt is ticked. To add variance to your video clip, Increasing the dirt density will increase the size of the dirt particles which appear on screen. In this example, I will increase dirt density to 5. I will maintain the default size of the dirt particles at 1.758. Increase dirt blur to 0.6 so that this mixes in well with the video content which has already been blurred. Increase dirt seed to 9 to increase the random distribution of dirt particles on your video clip. To add an animated scratch line, scroll down your open effects variables further. To add scratch 1, to make the scratch line more significant on screen, I will increase scratch strength to 1. When I preview the video clip, the scratch line tends to move around horizontally just on the left side of the video clip. I wish for this scratch line to move across the entire frame. And therefore, I will increase moving amplitude from 0.049 to 1. To intensify the white sections of your video clip, go back to Open Effects in Effects Library and search for the Glow Filter. Click and drag one of these filters to your video clip. With your video clip still selected, scroll down the Open Effects Inspector Properties to find the new Glow Filter at the bottom. Double click on this Glow label to open up the properties and adjust the value for the Shine Threshold variable. The lower this value, the more intense the white content of your video clip will be. In this particular project, I will set Shine Threshold to 0.35. Now to add a flicker effect where the intensity of the white content of your video clip varies. Go back to Open Effects underneath Effects Library and go to search for Flicker Edition. Add one of these filters to your video clip. Select your video clip once more. Under Inspector, Click on Open Effects, 
Scroll down your filter options to find Flickr Edition at the bottom. Double click to ensure that the Flickr effects only apply to the white content. Change Flickr type from Flickr Gamma to Flickr Gain. To ensure that the flicker doesn't change between extreme black to extreme white and vice versa, I will reduce the range value. In this case I will reduce this from 0.2 to 0.075. And to ensure that the flicker isn't occurring too rapidly, I will reduce the speed to 0.250. And to ensure each flicker effect occurs smoothly, I will increase the smoothness to the maximum value of 1. To add to your old film look, what you can also do is add skip effects, where parts of your video clip are missing and the scene jump cuts to a later section. To identify sections in your video clip which you can remove, find the thumbnail of your video clip back inside the media pool master bin. Left click on the icon which appears in the bottom right corner of your thumbnail to reveal basic clip attributes. The frame rate for my particular video is 30. To create a skip in this particular project, I will remove 20% of one second worth of screen time, which in this case here will comprise of six frames. Drag your red playhead to a point on your timeline where you wish to make a trim. In this case here, my first trim will be at the three second mark. You can also hold in K and tap L on your keyboard to advance the red playhead forward by one frame, or tap J to move the red playhead back an earlier frame. Press B for the blade edits mode. Click once on the red line directly below your red playhead. I will now hold in K and tap L six times to advance forward by six frames. With the blade edit tool selected once again, I will click on the red line below the red playhead, press A for the selection mode, select the trim section, and press delete. Repeat this process as many times as you want to, to add as many skipping moments as you wish. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.